Hi friends, happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a great day. I'm here to read our story for today. Our story today is called, How Many? What do you think we're going to do in this book? Do you think we're going to be counting or looking for colors? Hmm, what do you think? How many? Counting, that's right. If you said counting, you are correct. We are going to count all kinds of things in this book and I really hope you will help me when I read this story and you can count along. I really wanna encourage you to pause your video whenever we're looking at a picture and you can kind of try to count some different things in the story as well. Let's get started and read our story together. How Many by Christopher Danielson. This is a book about numbers and counting, but it's different from other counting books. This book doesn't tell you what to count. It doesn't start with small numbers and end with big ones. Instead, you decide what to count on each page. You have many choices. The longer you look, the more possibilities you'll notice. Turn the page and see for yourself. Look at this picture. How many do you see? Hmm, how many what do we see? What is something in this picture you think we could count? We could count how many shoes we see. How many shoes do you see? One, two, two shoes. We could count how many boxes we see. I see one box. What else do you see? in this picture to count. If you thought, how many what do I see? Then you get the idea. Maybe you'll count the shoes. We counted the shoes. There are two of those. Or maybe you'll count the pairs of shoes. A pair is two things that go together. There is one pair of shoes. There is one box, but men, how many shoelaces? How many holes for the laces to go through? Those are eyelets. How many ends on the laces? Those are called aglets. Maybe you'll count the yellow stitches around the edges or something completely different. What other things can you count? I encourage you to pause your video along the way while we're reading and see if there's anything you can count that maybe I don't think of, or maybe one of your friends might not even think of. Let's see what all we can count in our story. Now, how many do you see now there are zero shoes, but how many footprints? Two footprints. This book is filled with sets of pictures. Within each set, you'll find many things to count. Some things change. Some things stay the same. Some things might surprise you. Ready to start counting? Turn the page. How many? How many eggs do you see? One egg. How many spots for eggs do you see that are empty? Let's count all the empty spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If there are 11 empty spots, 
and one egg, how many eggs can fit in the carton? 11 plus one more is 12. What else could we count? How many? This is an egg carton too. It's a different shape. How many rows of eggs are there? One, two, three rows of eggs. What else could you count in this picture? Oh look, here's that egg carton again, but some of the eggs are missing. How many eggs did they crack? Let's see how many are missing. One, two, three, four. So if they cracked four eggs, there should be four eggs in the pan. Let's see if there's four eggs in the pan. One, two, three, four. Something is special about this egg. It has two yolks. That's a special egg. Have you ever gotten an egg that has two yolks in it? Doesn't happen very often, but it's really exciting when it does. What else could you count on this page? How many? How many? pieces of fruit. Can you help me count? One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you know what kind of fruit this is? Hmm, maybe the next page will give you a clue. How many? Now the fruit is cut. When six are cut, in half, how many halves do we have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Six cut in half makes twelve. Do you know what kind of fruit this is now? Some of you might say orange, but these are actually grapefruits. Have you ever had a grapefruit? Grapefruit kind of looks like an orange, but tastes a little bit different. It looks like they're maybe gonna make some juice out of those grapefruits, some grapefruit juice. This is a juicer. You squeeze the fruit on there and you make the juice go into the container. How many? What could we count in this picture? I see some seeds. I see some glasses. I see some halves of grapefruit. We could see how many cups of grapefruit juice they have. I can see one cup, two cup, three cups. There's about three and a half cups of grapefruit juice. Do you know what this is? I do see a knife that has one, two, three silver dots. And I see an avocado that's cut in half and an avocado that's whole. How many? Now there's a lot more avocados. Have you ever eaten something called guacamole? That's something you can make out of avocados. Have you ever eaten just an avocado? You can eat them without putting them in the guacamole. How many? Mmm, yummy. This looks good. Pizza. I see one, two, three, four, 
buy six pizzas. Mm. There are two pepperoni pizzas. What else could we count in this picture? Don't forget you can pause your picture to count something and push play again. How many? Now they've cut some of the pizzas. How many pieces do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six. There were six pieces, but one's taken away. So now there's only five. How many, look at this picture. I remember seeing some of these things in the other pictures we saw earlier. I remember seeing the eggs and the avocado and the pizza, grapefruit juice. There's a shoe from the beginning. What can we count in this picture? How many? Now there's more things that we saw. Once you've read this book a few times, you might think of new questions to wonder about. So you can listen to this story more than once and see if you can figure out some other things. What's the largest number in this book? What's the smallest number? What number is most surprising? What's your favorite number? Can you find that many of something on one of the pages? Can you find it on every page? What numbers are missing? Your world is full of interesting things. Go count them. I hope you all enjoyed our story today. There were so many things to count and see in the pictures. I hope you can find things around your house to count. I want you to send myself or Miss Michelle, if you are a busy bee, I want you to send a picture of something in your house. Anything, it could be anything. It could be a picture of your closet with your shoes. It could be a picture of your toy shelf or a game you're playing or your table at dinner. And then I want you to count something in the picture. It could be anything, just like in our story. We could have counted lots of different things in our pictures, but we chose just a couple. And I want you to do that with the picture that you send to myself, if you're a Mighty Duck, or to Miss Michelle, if you're a Busy Bee. I can't wait to see your pictures and hear from you and see all the things that you can count in your home. Bye.